Judy Richardson got her first look at Arizona School Finance back in 1982 when she served as a research analyst for the Education Committee of the Arizona Senate, a position she held until 1987. Arizona School Finance is so complex that drafting legislation has become an art, an art that Judy Richardson has mastered. Whenever anyone is trying to pass a school finance bill or anyone is drafting a school finance bill, one of the first questions you hear is, did Judy look at this? Um, I could tell you personally that the bills that I've worked on, I'm always turning to Judy for advice and guidance on, on what to put into those bills. Because everybody knows something, some simple mistake, such as using the word or instead of and, may instead of shall, could result in lawsuits or misappropriations of millions of dollars. And so it's very important that every detail is checked and that you're well aware of all the other laws that could be touched by this one little piece that you're trying to change. And that's something that Judy is very good at. Um, Judy is basically the Picasso of our time when it comes to crafting school finance legislation. In 1987, Judy became the Director of School Finance and was later promoted to Associate Superintendent for Support Services at the Arizona Department of Education. She also chaired their legislative team she stayed with the department until 1994. I believe most of you remember when we received an email from Judy in 2007. She started the email in, in case you haven't seen your property tax bill yet, I wanted to give you a warning. Maricopa County Tax Treasurer changed the format of the tax bills. In that email, Judy included examples of her own tax bill. She ended with the email with, good luck in explaining this is to your taxpayers. And oh boy, did we need help that year. The phone calls we got. I was lucky enough for Judy to take me under her wing and help me work through issues with my current school district with past bond language and to ensure that the district could use the funds. She also helped me understand the reasons my community was having a sudden tax increase. But mostly, I will miss Judy's accessibility whenever I called her. I remember calling Judy in a panic. In her calming demeanor, Judy helped me write responses to the taxpayers of why their taxes had such a sharp increase. Judy's willingness to help and still amazes me. Judy is such a giving person, I don't even think she realizes the lasting contributions she has been giving to business officials, students, communities, and the school districts of Arizona. Thank you, Judy. In 1996, Judy served as an executive director of the State Board for School Capital Facilities. She held that position until 1998 and is now known as the School Facilities Board. Judy, you're one of the very few people I would put a sports coat on when it's 105 degrees out. I met you 25 years ago at an impact aid meeting at the Department of Education with a group of about 35 school districts from around the state discussing the deduct. I'm sure you remember those meetings well. There were a series of them. First impressions or best impressions often. Mine has never changed. I remember thinking, who is this articulate, intelligent person who's conducting this meeting? Through the years, I found that to be true time and time again, whether it be legislation or dealing with uh, explaining tax rates you make very complicated things simple in the way you present them. Through the years, you've been incredibly responsive and uh, explaining, again, difficult things in ways that even I can understand, for which I've been very, very appreciative. I'm grateful for you and all you've done for us and for the state of Arizona. Thank you, Judy. In 1998, Judy became Senior Vice President for School Finance Consulting Services at Peacock, Hislop, Staley and Given. There are three things that I admire about Judy professionally. One, she knows her stuff. Two, she has a great work ethic. And three, she's patient. There's no doubt that there are very few people that know more about Arizona School Finance than Judy Richardson. On top of that, Judy never says die. A project is not done until she is completely comfortable with it. And third, she's patient. There are plenty of us that have had the nerve over the years, me included, to step our toes into the school finance arena, and she's willing and patient to work with us, 
discuss it with us, help us understand it, and she'll keep going until we're comfortable. On a personal level, I've had a great opportunity to work with Judy over the past 10 years, and it really has been a great opportunity. She's been a wonderful coworker. She's been a great mentor for me, and I just wanna wish you the best of luck in retirement. You deserve it. In 2002, Judy became the vice president with Stone and Youngberg, which is now known as Stiefel Nicholas. She retired on June 30th, 2014. For over 31 years, she has served school districts on every level, whether it was explaining the current laws or helping to draft new legislation. Congratulations, Judy. I've always valued Judy's knowledge of school finance. Her knowledge and experience in school finance covers virtually every aspect of school finance, including this office, Director of School Finance. Judy knows legislation and the potential impact of a single poorly worded phrase, or a phrase that's been excluded which can do damage. Her input during legislation is especially valued as a solution or two is always offered. She is always willing to, scu to discuss other options and varying viewpoints. Judy, when you have a minute, can we talk about Trans Western, please? Judy has been a great supporter and friend of ASBO over the years and has helped countless numbers of school districts with problems and with situations that they needed technical assistance and just support on. Uh, she's been a great friend and, and has helped school districts all across the state.